Ask my instructor 8.1.38. Find the volume of the solid that is generated when the region bounded by f of x equals sine x and the x-axis on 0 to pi is revolved about the y-axis. If you're revolving about the y-axis, the easiest method for finding the volume of a solid is to use the shell method. So let's review the shell method. If we revolve this rectangle of width dx about the y-axis, we get a cylindrical shell. The cylindrical shell will have a radius of x, height f of x, and thickness dx. What is the volume of the shell? Well, slice the shell and spread it open. If you do that, you'll see that the volume of the shell is the height of the shell times the circumference times the thickness. Adding up all of the shells, we get the volume of a solid. So this is our formula for volume of a solid. For our particular region, we're going from 0 to pi. The radius is still x, but the function f is um, equal to sine x. So instead of f of x, we put in sine x. This is the strategy I suggest. Um, to do this integral, we're going to need integration by parts. So let's just focus on the integration by parts and then use uh, that information to find the volume of the solid. All right, so we're going to use integration by parts to find the antiderivative of x sine x dx. Here's a review of your integration by parts formula, and I suggest that we let u equal x. The reason for that is if you find the derivative of x, you'll just get 1. Anytime you can reduce a function, um, it, that's a good candidate for your u. And x will be reduced down to 1 when we take the derivative. All right, so uh, we now we need to do the setup. If we choose u equals x, we have to figure out what du is. Also, what is dv? And then from there, what is v? Do that now. If u equals x, then du equals dx. And dv would have to be sine x dx, which makes v equal to negative cosine x. Put this into our integration by parts formula. And we get that the antiderivative of x sine x is equal to negative x cosine x plus the antiderivative of cosine x. Well, the antiderivative of cosine x is just sine x. So this was pretty easy. All right, let's go back. We said we were going to use integration by parts to find the integral. Now we're ready to uh, find the volume of our solid. We evaluate at pi and then subtract the evaluation at 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1, sine of pi is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, sine of 0 is 0. And when the dust settles, we get 2 pi squared cubic units. Take care and have a great day.